what's up guys welcome to new unreal engine 5 video and i want to thank everyone because we have officially reached 1k subscribers 1000 subscribers it's incredible i love you guys thanks a lot for the support they have given lately in the new tutorials that i have been posting and because we have reached this incredible goal i have made an unreal engine project that you will be able to download and mess around inside the editor changing things how you want and see all the code and everything for literally free so i will be posting the github repository it will be the link and available in the description so you'll be able to download it so i'm gonna uh, explain you a bit what is this project that i've created so you can see in here that you know i have this um scene set up you know with all the text saying uh one k subs special so if I press play, you can see that it is basically like a wave system shooter. So it's really cool. You can go ahead and play around uh, with all the you know AIs. I will be showing a bit the air how it is built, and you basically die and you have a control. You can uh, restart and continue playing. So it's really cool. So let's go and jump in. So the whole project was created using just the third person template. So basically pretty much from zero, okay, from blank. And I have uh, made, made it so it's very easy to navigate around. You have the blueprints folder, you have the you know, UI folder, um, etc. right? The only uh, two things that I have imported are the infinity blade effects and the anim starter pack that are both from uh, Epic Games from Unreal Engine and the just some animations and basically some uh, VFX for like explosions and things like that. That's the only thing. Okay, it's just visuals thing. Okay, so let's uh, just see about how is the project is structured. So you can go ahead and check out. So I have tried to label this, uh, you know, everything really nicely. You can see how it is uh, again built. You will be able to open the code and you know the blueprints and you know mess around with it, change parameters and learn from it, etc. Of course, if you have any sort of questions that you, you know say, hey, I want to you know do this into your pride, uh, but I know I don't know how. Well, just you know leave a comment and I will help you out and make you know modifications that you want to do this. Then we go ahead and have the uh, blend tree set up. You can see how cool the character looks here, uh, you know, holding the shotgun. So I just, you know, go ahead and start moving and in all ways. So basically right, left, forward, back, and a bit to the side and backwards. So yeah, and now pretty much sides, pretty cool, right? So it's fully uh, directional movement. Also the shotgun model is from Sketchfab. So I'll be linking it. So. I'll be you know, giving credit into the creator. So one of the most advanced things probably and harder for beginners is the AI system. So I've actually gone ahead and made a whole behavior tree. Uh, so you can go ahead and play and mess around. Of course, now beginners uh, will not understand the behavior tree. And it's normal. I know that I made an um, AI enemy system um, you know, some time ago already. And it was a bit different from this one. What you see in here, it's basically uh, I use basically blueprints and this uses the behavior tree. So if you want a, a tutorial in the behavior tree and you can create so um, you know much more advanced stuff, uh, uh, you know just go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you want to check it out because it's it's amazing the power that the behavior trees have. So yeah, you know I have made my custom tasks like for example to find the player etc. So you can go ahead and mess around if you have some knowledge. But the easier stuff will be just in blueprints and there's just not so many. First of all, we have a bullet. We'll basically use this uh, uh, small model with just a sphere to you know, create some collisions. And then we have the projectile movement component. We just add some initial speed of the starter when it's instantiated. And then what we have is just a control for the collision. So if it's, there's you know some uh, collision and the actor that we collide is an enemy, we'll just add some, you know, uh, damage to health then we have the enemy which you know is a bit um, more complex but it's still pretty simple i mean there's pretty much nothing of code so you just have the event and in damage so we receive damage you know control the health system and then the attack which synchronizes with the behavior tree that i explained before and then we have the spawner so basically you know this is just it's a very simple uh, wave spawner that will spawn new enemies every five seconds 
you know, it basically every five seconds, it just calls this function, which spawns three uh, enemies. So yeah, it's very simple, you know. Also, the project is pretty much fully replicable. So actually, you know, pretty much multiplayer is enabled uh, straight to the go. The only problem is pretty much with the behavioral trees. You will be having some, you know, um, errors when you end up with some player references. But if you want, I will make a quick fix into it. A uh, quick video fixing it and that's it. You can also go ahead and check out all the UI. So the UI is, uh, you know, pretty simple indeed. It doesn't have too much customization. It's just a simple timer and a health system. I also made a video for the health system. So if you want to check it out. And, um, you know, it's simple. We have the timer blueprint here. Every so in the event tick, you just wait one second. We're going to make an event that would trigger, but anyway. And just add a second. If the seconds are more than 59, well, we have a minute and we reset the seconds. Very simple. And we also have a, you know, a widget for when you're dead. It's very easy. Go ahead and just load a level when you press the button again. So that's as easy. So yeah, there's not much here more to explain. Uh, just amazing things. So, you know, if you want just to play and go ahead and just leave in the comments how much time did you actually manage to survive before you dying. Okay, it's really cool. Uh, also, I've enabled ragdoll physics when the enemies die. So you can go ahead and check out and play around with that. So yeah, uh, been the whole day working on this. So I hope that you guys appreciate all the work that I have put on in this recent tutorials and also in this, in this video. So yeah, I just really want to thank everyone that has been supporting all my tutorials lately. If you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, well, go ahead and subscribe because you have a ton of Unreal Engine tutorials out there that are extremely simple, easy to follow. So, you know, and I, I, I will be, you know, giving more gifts like this as we go. I mean, new goals that we reach, I will be making more special videos with Unreal Engine projects and that you can download from GitHub and play around and everything. So, yeah, guys, I've just, you know, this was a quick short video, but I just want to show everything that I've built recently. And, you know, you can see in the back background you know some footage of me actually going ahead and just uh you know making the the project um so yeah it, it pretty much took some hours not not too much honestly um because i have made so many projects in unreal and in unity that i just know where to go as a start and just know in what things to focus and then focus later and when to do it and etc so yeah you know it's, it's, it's pretty much just experience uh more than another thing right now but yeah you know thanks a lot guys for all the support that you have given and you know i will be making more things like this as we go like as i mentioned before and also guys i want to see the modifications that you actually go ahead and build so uh you know just go ahead and reach me out in twitter and you send me a quick uh you know just a clip or a video of what modifications you did just playing the game with your modifications i'll be reacting to it and it'll be real cool so you know if you want to make any modifications go you're literally free to do it that's why i deleted the uh github repository in the description totally free go ahead just download the zip uh unzip it and then just go ahead and open the project and unreal so yeah pretty cool right also you know like you learn uh if you have any questions just leave me in the comments but you know the code is pretty simple in, in it for example the enemy health i mean i did an enemy uh, health system to throw like i mentioned before it's literally just decreasing that variable and then play a sound and then check in if it's less than zero while we do the dying functions basically just enabling the rack though disabling movement we cannot attack anymore well, the enemy in this case and then a delay we just did again because just in case we had a a previous event going on from the behavior tree where we attacked while well, just controlling here it's a quick thing so yeah so you guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe because you know new goals new price like this so leave a like comment and with all that said bye bye